Oh, hi, I'm uh, John Edgar from Auckland and uh, a real pleasure being down here in uh, Chatham Islands for the first time. I live out on the west coast of uh, Auckland um, at Karikari, which is one beach south of Piha on the west coast and uh, I've got a house out there in the Kauri Forest. Uh, but I don't work there um, any longer because uh, my work uh, shop now is in Glen Dean in um, sort of West Auckland where I make uh, small sculptures, large sculptures and huge sculptures. Well, actually I've um, known about these um, fantastic uh, dendroglyphs for a long, long time but I've never ever thought I'd get to see them. So, uh, and I've also known Susan for about oh, perhaps 30 years or something like that. So when she said come down for the workshop, I just thought, wow, what a chance. You know, it would be fantastic not just to see the dendroglyphs, but uh, to actually uh, take part in a workshop that was um, about restoring, relearning culture and heritage of Moriori. Like, as soon as you sit around with a group of 40 people and they're all experts in some subject and they all start talking, you realise you don't know very much at all about anything except your own subject. So, so you know, I've found in the first few days here, I, I learned heaps about Moriori culture, about life on the Chatham Islands now, um, about um, from the other experts, you know, who've come down here to be part of the workshop. So, uh, so yeah, we're all students and we're all teachers in some way. Going out to uh, Rotorua and Hapupu to see the um, Kopi groves, which was, it was very moving, and uh, there's a sort of silence out there that's quite sort of um, wonderful, and you can sort of feel the presence of the, uh, the trees and, uh, and with the um, dendroglyphs on the trees, you can get a sense of the people that must have lived there once. and, and um, and it must have been beautiful living out there, you know, with the coast and the, the ocean on one side and the seafood and the sand dunes and, the, and then these beautiful serene kopi groves in which they lived. And, and uh, I, I think that's been sort of quite magic, actually. Well, you know, I think it lies with the young people. And it's not necessarily going back to... Um, firstly, you do have, they do have to go back, or we all have to go back and understand the old carvings and the old culture, but uh, we have to move forward because it's a living culture. And um, so I think for the young people now, uh, the um, challenge is to uh, come up with, with new um, renaissance of, of Moriori culture and to come up with images that will um, reflect th their new life. Maybe it's in the city, maybe it's in the, on the islands, but you know, we, we, it's, it's a growing and living um, heritage and culture that they're um, partaking in. So I think that's really exciting.